Okay, I'm gonna explain this speedy quick because I kind of woke up late. I think I'm fine. It's just, I meant to wake up an hour ago, but I stayed up until like almost 4 a.m. editing a YouTube video. But I have a hair appointment at 10 a.m. and I forget how long the drive there is. It takes like 25 minutes. Okay, well, it takes 25 minutes. Oh my God. I still need to go to the freaking bank to get money out. But I'm gonna start getting ready and I'm going to explain what this is gonna be. Obviously, by the title you already saw, it's gonna be a, a little hair vlog, a little transformation. I'm terrified. I have had light hair for a good few months, right? If you're new to my channel, I like to do things to my hair. I still don't know how my hair is attached to my head. Probably most people watching this video already know if you've been a watcher of my channel. I bleached the whole entire head of hair at home. Got a whole entire video on that. I dyed my hair lavender. Then I dyed my hair vibrant purple. And then I dyed my hair light blue. That was one of my favorite colors. And then I dyed it like a periwinkle. And then we made it to pink. And pink was a shock because I didn't do light pink. I did more vibrant pink. It was dark pink. Like it was dark for me. And then I went to a hair salon for like one of the first times in my life. And I got a blonde balayage. And it turned out super freaking good. Then I cut my own curtain bangs. We bring it up to the last time I got my hair done. I think my hair just couldn't take what I did. I went blonder. Roots right here were just dis destroyed my hair was so tangled my hair wouldn't dry and i think me and blonde are just at the end of our road i'm scared because i like the blonde but it is really high maintenance i think i need to give my hair a break it's just a lot so i took a shower last night because i've heard it is not good to dye your hair when there's a bunch of product in it okay but um i'm gonna be going brown today i was gonna like just go an easy route and go like dirty blonde oh wait, i didn't even say my natural hair color i mean a lot of people are gonna disagree because a lot of people just say i have brown hair every single hairdresser i have gone to and even brad mondo himself said i have a level six hair or even a level seven and that like falls under dirty blonde it's still technically blonde, but a lot of people consider it light brown, but I have pictures of what that looks like But my hair was so lifted naturally from the Sun and stuff. So it looked even lighter I technically have never had brown hair. I was gonna go the safe route I was gonna dye my hair after this dirty blonde, but a little bit spicier than my natural hair We're gonna be a little bit lighter just to ease me into the brown, but no, I'm not gonna do that I'm not I am just gonna go brown I just like want to. There's like this thing inside me that like wants brown hair. I'm excited. I'm really scared right now. I kind of feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be going for a warm or neutral brown. I'm not going to be going for a cool tone brown. And my thing is I don't want my hair to look like super unhealthy when it's brown. That's like my what I'm scared about. I don't know why. I'm like scared that my hair's going to look way more unhealthy. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's going to look healthier. I wanted to dye my hair brown low-key in the summer only because that is when I'm the most tan. And it's kind of ironic because I'm literally not tan right now because I don't spend my time tanning anymore. I literally spend my time only editing YouTube videos, so... Pictures of brown hair that I'm gonna mainly show her because I always show hairdressers pictures because I feel like it's easier for them to understand like what the person wants. These are the pictures. As you can see, I feel like they're neutral and warm. Could be wrong. Okay guys, this is the last time you're gonna see me as a blonde for like quite some time. I'm gonna get ready. Oh, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even I freaking say this part. I'm getting a haircut today. I haven't gotten a haircut in so long except when I cut my own curtain bangs. Well, I want long curtain bangs with round layers. I need to take a little bit of length off. So my hair might be a little bit shorter after this. But my hair grows very quickly. As you can see, I got my hair to not that long ago. My baby hairs and stuff right here literally have split ends all the way up to here. Okay, I'm gonna start getting ready because your girl doesn't want to be late, so. Okay, so let's do this.
coming a message from our sponsor. Do you wake up with frizzy, unmanageable hair, the uncontrollable bedhead, and the unstoppable breakage? Yeah, I've been there too, but it was time for a change. Introducing Kitsch. With their satin pillowcases, I have little to no frizz in the mornings anymore, and my hair has honestly never felt better. Goodbye, frizz. You can use my code, Kaylee, K-A-Y-L-I, in all caps, for 20% off. Okay, but in all seriousness, thank you so much to Kitch for sponsoring this video. And you guys know, I do not collab or get sponsored by any brand that I am not fully behind, that I do not actually like or use in my everyday life. I literally bought these satin pillowcases like months ago when I was trying to better my hair and figure out what's best for my skin and stuff. I can't live without my satin pillowcase anymore. I go over to my boyfriend's house every single week and I always bring my own pillow or just my pillowcase because it is so essential to my life now. It makes my hair not frizzy at all. My hair has 100% felt better and I've noticed a decrease in breakage in my hair ever since I've been using these. And they actually send me this and it's a microfiber hair towel. They are so absorbent. I love this one so much. It has like little leaves on it. And I actually have another one. So this one's a plain white one, but this one is a little bit different. It's eco-friendly, we love that. Made from natural bamboo and organic cotton. Using microfiber hair towels has probably been one of the major factors in making my hair look so much healthier recently. These help so much with frizz, just like the satin pillowcases, they reduce breakage. Like I already showed, I already have two of their pillowcases. They sent me another one, but this one's super duper pretty. I was looking on their website and they have so many cute designs. They also sent me some other little goodies like some satin scrunchies they reduce breakage they don't leave creases in your hair and then they send me these and they're scrunchies but they're the same exact material as this hair towel okay so say you just took a shower and you're getting ready to go somewhere right your hair is in your face while you're doing your makeup you can put your hair back with this and it's drying your hair at the same time while keeping your hair back so on top of everything these are for all hair types for curly hair for wavy hair for straight hair and i love that so much because it's not towards just one specific hair type it's for everybody and everybody can buy it you can use the code kaylee just my name for 20% off. Again, thank you so much, Kish, for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to get any of this stuff, go do it because you won't regret it. Okay, back to the video. Woo. Good. I thought I was gonna be more in shock. My eyes, I don't know if it's catching on camera, but they're so green. I don't know if it's catching on camera, it's catching more on my phone. They're so green. I feel like I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna have to dye my eyebrows with like beard dye because they're gonna be too light. <laughs> then they'll look even better. I'm excited. I'm not freaking out yet. <laughs> I feel instantly my face feels so pale, but like my body's fine. You got fine. some hair on your forehead. I know I do. I need to get it off. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom. Ooh. In mom's reaction yeah. right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I look like a different person. It's so exciting. I love it. Doesn't she yeah. look good? It looks completely different. No, it it just looks so. I look like a different person. It's weird. I knew she was gonna say that. She did the haircut so good. It's like it's so, it's so healthy. Oh my gosh. All right, now time for Dad's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
this is my this is my new hair i got a haircut and stuff with it i feel i like it normal hair color. oh yeah it's darker i was gonna go my natural and then i was like no i want to go more brown all right guys so now we're facetiming my sister for her reaction aka kelly's best friend <laughs> she Okay, it's about to it's it's 12 a.m. right? This is it. Obviously it's way later, but I'll explain why. This is it. It is probably the biggest change to my appearance yet. I love it. You know what? Y'all better be nice. If you don't like it, just don't tell me because I am so sensitive, I will cry. I haven't showed anyone my hair yet. So the people watching this video, you guys are the first people to ever see my hair. I mean, except for like my family and stuff. I haven't posted on any other social media platforms yet, but I've been posting stuff on my Instagram story, like kind of hinting at it. Like, I'm not blonde anymore. And I got literally the polar opposite of DMs. I got, oh my God, you better be going brown. I'm so excited, like yes, or no, what are you doing? You should keep the blonde. You're gonna look ugly with any other hair color. So that's pretty much the response I've gotten so far. I like it, so it's really all that matters. And the pictures had some like lighter pieces going through, but the hairstylist told me that like my hair is just gonna naturally, when it washes out a little bit, it will have like those natural highlights because she woven in, we weaved, weaved or woven? Wove in like two different browns, two like, neutral browns again because i'm probably going to get questions on the haircut she just trimmed my curtain bangs and made them a little bit more even because i did them myself and they needed help i have long curtain bangs and round layers so if you want to get a, like a 360 of my hair i'm probably gonna have one on tiktok so you can go look it on there i'm gonna post so many like tiktoks on my hair and like just new stuff so if you want to see anything about my hair literally just go to my tiktok It'll be on there. Anyways, you're probably saying, Kaylee, why are you here? I'm going to do heatless curls tonight. I want to see what this hair looks like curly. This hairstyle is so cute. I love it. I don't know if it was the way she blow dried it or maybe, I don't know all the science behind it, but I know like when you have bleached hair, all of the color is stripped and there's like weird stuff with the cuticle of your hair. So it just like feels more unhealthy. So I don't know if it's because my hair is dyed and that's why it feels healthier. But my hair feels so freaking soft. She texturized my hair like perfectly. Like my curtain bangs aren't super heavy. I'm telling you, this girl was so freaking talented with the texturizing and stuff. Couldn't be me. She's extremely talented. But anyways, I'm going to be going in with my heatless curler crappy crap. Whole entire video in detail on all of my hair tips with heatless curls. So if you want to go see that, you can watch it. I'm going to do this and then... Because I feel like with every hair transformation, like, you have to see it straight and curly, you know? This always reminds me of the Alaskan bullworm from, um, Spongebob. Alright. I was, like, trying to clean my nose piercing and a bunch of pus came out of it. Gross. Sorry. But recently, follow me on Instagram. It's not on my Instagram story. I was washing my face and it kind of like accidentally came out and then I was like, oh, whatever. I'll do a face mask really quick and then I'll put it back in. In the 20 minutes I didn't have it in, my whole entire nose was like closed. I got a bunch of helpful DMs. I put like hydrogen peroxide on it and then I kind of just like shoved it through and it hurt really bad. But, like, I hope it's not infected. So I'm gonna like wash my face and go and clean it and hope for the best because I don't want an infected nose ring. I'd rather not. I'm gonna go and do that and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you in the morning. Hey! So next morning, this thing was extra uncomfortable to sleep with last night because I didn't have my silk cap and my bangs like were low key falling out. So I just pinned them like this while I was doing my makeup and stuff because I didn't want them to see that. But they still curled. So one thing I will say with the brown hair, I feel like my skin like on my face is less red. Like it doesn't, I, I don't know, with the blonde hair, I feel like I could see my acne so much more. And I feel like my skin tone just looks way better with the brown. I mean, I naturally have dirty blonde hair, so my skin tone is obviously going to look better with a little bit darker of a hair color. I feel like the blonde just wasn't perfect for my skin tone. Also, I don't think, I actually said this before, I, just said, I don't think my hair is going to be super curly. Just because it was blow dried and stuff yesterday, probably just going to be like slight waves. Oh my gosh, this is 
so pretty. Also, my hair is like way shorter, but like I love this hair length. But I think I am gonna grow my hair out. My hair used to be all the way like past my freaking butt. I'll see if I can find a picture of how long my hair used to be. My hair used to be so long. And then on the day of senior prom, I cut it all off in the morning and it was like up to here. Ever since then, I've just kind of gotten trims because I like it there because my hair is so thick that when it gets all the way down to my butt, it's just unmanageable and I can't do anything with it. Oh my gosh, she did such a freaking good job with the curtain bangs. So like, look at how they just instantly swoop and like blend into my hair. Do I kind of feel like an entirely different person now? Yes pretty also this is just gonna sound weird i feel like the hair looks better with my tattoos i don't think that makes any sense but like i just i feel like it looks better like it, it goes together more i don't know and my piercing so i think that's i think that's it for this video thank you so much for coming with me and letting me document this point in my life on the internet some people are gonna be like oh my gosh you're so dramatic like People dye their hair brown all the time, but I'm sorry. This looks so different than I've ever looked in my life. Again, please be nice to me. I am a sensitive little If you think I look better with blonde hair, there's no need in telling me because I'm not gonna go back to being blonde for quite some time. Is this the last hair dyeing video ever? No. There's going to be more in the future. It's probably just gonna be in the like, future future. I would get comments every single day of people telling me to dye my hair dark, so this one is for you. Thank you so much for coming on this adventure with me. I freaking love all of you. You kids are amazing. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. I love you. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. My life breaks the scales, hand to hand, dropping corn shit down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gon' get my drugs.